You ever had a gut feeling that maybe you were meant for more? Because <laughs> you weren't really sure what the next best steps were to achieve it? Me too. So what's your more? What's your, 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 your destination? I'm not talking about just more money or more things. I'm also talking about more love, more joy, more choice, more balance, more trust. What's your more? What's your, what's your, I'm gonna to talk to you about some things that I've learned in my journey. Most from experience, some of them I heard in passing, many of them I'm still practicing, but all of them I do believe are true. Now, they may be truths to me, but don't think that, that makes them mine, because you cannot own a truth. So please think of these as signposts, approaches, paradigms, that give some science to satisfaction. They're yours to steal, they're yours to share, like into your own lives, to personally apply in your own lives, in your own way, should you choose to. So, here we go. Unbelievable is the stupidest word in the dictionary. Should never come out of our mouths. Think about it. To say, oh wow, what an unbelievable play. Uh, it was an unbelievable book, an unbelievable film, an unbelievable act of courage. Really? It may be spectacular, it may be phenomenal, most excellent or outstanding, but unbelievable. <laughs> Give others and yourself more credit. It just happened, you witnessed it, you just did it, believe it. Give your obstacles credit. You know, once you do find your frequency on something, it, go forward if you're a non-tyrant and don't ask permission. And that's the not giving a damn part. I've found that the world will actually acquiesce and go, yeah, I'll give you a green light on that if you actually go forward and mean it. And you're going to do it by hook or by crook and not ask permission. Life is not easy. It is not. Don't try to make it that way. Life's not fair. It never was. It isn't now and it won't ever be. Do not fall into the trap, the entitlement trap, of feeling like you're a victim. You are not. Get over it. Get on with it. And yes, most things are more rewarding when you break a sweat to get them. Sit here in that discomfort long enough to go, okay, until you come out the other side to go, all right, I'm good with me again. I don't want to leave a place I travel to until I get to the point of going, ah, I could live here. This could be my existence. And as soon as I get to that point, then I'm like, okay, you can go. Now I can go. It's the same thing in the personal journeys. Stick with it till you get through these uncomfortable times until you go, you know what? I can spend time with myself. I could do this. I could do this forever. Well, then it's okay to go re-engage, pick up your phone, go see your friends, go have a drink, what have you. Go look for those things that are, are other relationships in life. But hopefully not until. There's great value in not doing that until you go, I'm good with me and me for right now. So to any of us, whatever those things are, whatever it is we look up to, whatever it is we look forward to and whoever it is we're chasing. To that I say amen. To that I say all right, all right, all right. To that I say just keep living, huh? Thank you. See, happiness is an emotional response to an outcome. If I win, I will be happy. If I don't, I won't. It's an if then, cause and effect, quid pro quo, standard that we cannot sustain because we immediately raise it every time we attain it. You see, happiness demands a certain outcome. It is result reliant. And I say, if happiness is what you're after, then you're gonna be let down frequently and you're gonna be unhappy much of your time. Joy though, joy is a different thing. It's something else. Joy is not a choice. It's not a response to some result. It's a constant. Joy is the feeling that we have from doing what we are fashioned to do. It is just as important where we are not as it is where we are. Look, the first step that leads to our identity in life is usually not, I know who I am, I know who I am. That's not the first step. The first step is usually, I know who I am not process of elimination. Defining ourselves by what we are not is the first step that leads us to really knowing who we are. 
south of New Orleans uh, a few years ago, and I went to a voodoo shop. Uh, and they had this, this, this wooden partition against the wall with these columns. And, and in these columns were all these vials of these magic potions, right? And the headings above each potion defining what they would give you were things like fertility, health, uh, family, legal health, energy, forgiveness, money. <laughs> Guess which column was empty? Money. Let's admit it. Money is king today. It's what make the world, makes the world go round. It is success. The more we have, the more successful we are, right? And I would argue that our cultural values have even been financialized. Uh, humility is not in vogue anymore. It's too passive. It's a get rich quick on the internet, riches 15 minutes of fame world that we live in, and we see it every day. But we all want to succeed, right? So the question that we've got to ask ourselves is what success is to us? What success is to you? Is it more money? That's fine. I got nothing against money. I don't. Maybe it's a healthy family. Maybe it's a happy marriage. Maybe it's to help others, to be famous, to be spiritually sound, to leave the world a little bit better place than you found it. Continue to ask yourself that question. Now your answer may change over time and that's fine, but do yourself this favor. Whatever your answer is, don't choose anything that will jeopardize your soul. Prioritize who you are, who you want to be, and don't spend time with anything that antagonizes your character. Don't drink the Kool-Aid, man. It tastes sweet, but you will get cavities tomorrow. All right, Life is not a popularity contest. Be brave, take the hill, but first answer that question, what's my hill? There's a responsibility to freedom and that there is freedom in responsibility. You know, and that earn your way there. We remember the stuff we earn, the stuff we experience more than what the teacher tells us or what someone gives us for free. We just do. We broke a proverbial sweat on it, whether it's mental or physical or whatever. We, we, we built it. We, we understand. We felt how we got it, how we achieved it, how we got what we wanted. Those stick with us. Whether we forget them intellectually, they were written in our lineage and they build resilience and they, and, and, and they build a healthy, true optimism going forward to know that, oh, no, I've, I've, I've worked for something before and achieved it. Delayed gratification. Oh, there are choices I can make today for myself that will pay me back later in life. So there are choices we make. If you're going to say right now, I'm going to lie, cheat and steal to get what I want. And I got it. I got an immediate green light for me. That's a battery powered green light. That's not a, a solar powered green light. Why? Because now, everywhere I go, I got to look over my shoulder to see if someone's there that I lied, cheat, and stole from. And when I'm doing that, I'm stealing whose time? My time. I'm not free. I don't have the freedom. I didn't create freedom in my future because I chose to be an ir make an irresponsible act that I left crumbs. I've now got reasons to look over my shoulder. And the more things we do to create in our, in our future that we got to look over our shoulder, the more of our most precious thing we have in our life's time that we're stealing from ourselves. So it's not puritanical. It's just like, it's actually self-serving. It's a very selfish choice. And, and I'm a fan of the word selfish. I've read it, helped redefine it. Um, but I believe that there are selfish choices we can make that are the most selfless, that there are selfless choices that we can make that are the most selfish choices. Those two are not a contradiction and we see them that way. Responsibility is, is appreciation of a past. It's building of a lineage. It's investing in ourselves. It's investing in something we started to build yesterday that we want to take into tomorrow. There's a response that gives us freedom. So be brave, have courage. And when you do, you get stronger. You get more aware. You get more respectful of yourself and that which you fear.